In this video, we're going to take a look at some web browser extensions or add-on to enhance your browser protection and security. And if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that you can click on to look at and click on the links to install these. Now, over the last several months, I've been composing or creating web pages about web browsers for Linux. Now, this video is not just for Linux users. These extensions are for anyone that uses a Chrome-based uh, web browser or a Mozilla or Mozilla based web browser. Now here is the recommended web browser extensions. I've compiled a list of them. Now for each web browser I did put a list on there that I recommend for that particular browser but I thought well I'll create a little section here that are for the Chromium based browsers and Mozilla. Now I won't be clicking both links. I'll get I'll click this side just for the description because for both sides there's a similar description for each of those. The first one on the list is uBlock Origin. Now that's the icon that you see here, the uBlock Origin. If you click on the Chrome Web Store here, if you're on a Chromium based and this is not this is Waterfox based off of Firefox, but there's a similar click to install those so it says to add to Waterfox it won't because this is not a Chromium based browser but as you can see there's over 10 million plus users of you block origin you can look at the rating now the one thing I want to point out to you is not just the description when you're installing an extension or an add-on look at the last time that it was updated because you don't want to install an extension or update that's over a year old because of security features. If they're not updating it, it may be a liability rather than something that's adding extra protection. But what the uBlock Origin is, is it blocks against uh, ads, pop-ups, and, and there's a lot of other things that it blocks against. And you can add additional filters to it to increase the privacy features. And if you go to a certain website that you know it's safe, you can create whitelists. Now this is not a YouTube video just focusing on how to use each of these. These are just recommended and if you want to do more ex research on each of these you can look up on either Google or YouTube or any of your favorite search web browsers. The next one on the list is a pop-up blocker. Sometimes when I first started using uBlock Origin there were certain websites that had pop-ups that would pop up that the pop-up blocker, the popper blocker actually prevented so I install this and a lot of people don't use an extent add-on but as you can see there's over two million plus people that use this it has a five-star rating with over 80,000 people wrote reviews for it or rated it as you can see here the last time it was updated was May the 17th so it it blocks all types of pop-ups now again there are sites that requires pop-ups like if you go in educational sites that need a pop-up you can whitelist those as well on both of these so that you can create pop-ups so if you are on a website and it appears it's not working you might want to whitelist them in both your uBlock origin and your popper blocker because this is an excellent pop-up block utility because a lot of websites that where it pops up saying you need your antivirus program is outdated click this to install and it installs malware or spyware or even a virus on your system you know these right here can prevent those type of pop-ups now here are either ors I don't recommend you to install both because they do very similar the privacy badger and the duck duck go and this is the Chrome web store the Mozilla for this one I'm gonna click both this one and while that's loading I'm gonna click this one and as you can see here the privacy badger has over a million plus users and if you come down here and look at the last time it was updated it was December the second uh, 2021 it was several months ago but it's still not over a year old but if you look it automatically learns to block invisible trackers whereas as these blocks some you know the U block origin blocks a lot this will block the privacy badger or unblock those invisible trackers uh, that kind of track you as you're surfing the internet and the DuckDuckGo has over six million plus users it does the very similar too so it brought blocks online trackers so you can kind of compare both of these and for the DuckDuckGo the last time it was updated was April the 26th so if you're choosing the two of those and you want to choose say well what's the one that you know if they're very similar if you like the one that's most updated you might want to go with the DuckDuckGo over the Privacy Badger but now there's nothing wrong with you know that one as long as it's working all right let's take a look at uh, the next one Bitwarden now Bitwarden is something that I've emphasized ever since my information was leaked online when there was a data security breach I no longer store my usernames and passwords in my browser browser I use Bitwarden 
so if you were to go open up any of my browsers there's no usernames or passwords stored in any of those I stored them in my Bitwarden so that when I open up my browser I put in my username for my Bitwarden and it has all my usernames and passwords stored in it but you want to make sure you're not surfing even though you're using a password manager you might want to make sure that you are having some protection on there so that you're not installing like uh, tools to record your keystrokes because if someone's recording your keystrokes they can get your password for your password manager and then that defeats the purpose so you want to not only use a password manager you want some sort of security to try to prevent key loggers from getting installed on your system or from being running in the background of your web browser uh, getting information such as password managers but if you go to the web store here as you can see it's used by over two million plus users last time it was updated was April the 26th 2022 as you can see here it's a secure and free password manager for all your devices I mean you can install this like on Android devices uh, Windows uh, Mac Linux uh, so it's a very nice uh, secure password manager to keep your usernames and passwords safe now the HTTPS everywhere what this is is uh, when you go to a website like the older HTTP unsecure sites it will redirect you to a secure site so if you read a direction here it says uh, HTTPS everywhere is an extension created by EFF and the Tor project which automatically switches thousands of sites from the insecure HTTP to secure HTTPS and as you can see here this is kind of a little old it's not quite over a year old but it still works wonderful now if it does get over a year old I would start to question and look for something a little uh, similar to this uh, but it still works great and that's the HTTPS that you see up in the corner now the next one here this is not really to increase your browser protection or security but I just included it here because when you're watching YouTube these are not little ads that pop up these are ads that within the video like if you're seeing a YouTube video and the timeline here it will show you where sponsors are at within the videos and it will play up to that point and then it will jump the sponsors and continue saving you a lot of time so this was updated on May the 20th if you hear see here it skips sponsors subscriptions begging you for more YouTube videos and, uh, and it allows you to report sponsors so that they can block out so it works with a community you know if you were watching a YouTube video and you see a sponsor on one you can report that video not really report it you can send that so they can add to it so it's a time consumer if you're watching a lot of videos now you remember a lot of YouTube videos uh, creators that's the way they make money is by the ads on it so you don't want to block every single YouTube I don't mind if you block mine I don't profit I don't make anything off if any of my YouTube videos I do this to help people so when people say why don't you have the likes and unlikes to where you can view them it's because I embed my YouTube videos and people that were reading them within the embedded site can't hit like or dislike so only the YouTube people that find it on YouTube can so it's not it's not equal for all so since I don't profit off mine I disabled that it's not because I care about you know the ratio of likes and dislikes it's just that it's not giving everyone an equal chance with embedded videos so that I thought I'd add my two cents in that place alright Malwarebytes uh, browser guard now with Linux systems like I have here you know you, you're limited at the number of antivirus programs that you can install on your system and most of the problem with any type of computer is where it's connected to the internet and the part where it's normally connected to the internet is with your browsers so if you can have some sort of feature to scan or at least warn you when there's websites that are questionable malware bytes guard is a great uh, add-on uh, that you can install here and I can hit add to a, a water fox but not here I don't have this one installed so if I go here to go to uh, malware bytes and go to the Mozilla I'll show you how to add this go to add to Firefox it's pretty big so it'll download I didn't want to have them all installed I had this one installed but I removed it then I hit add then you hit OK then you go to malware bytes here now it's not going to show you that it blocked unless it kept a record uh, of what I was previously on here but if I go to malware bytes guard it says share anonymous I don't want to share any anonymous information 
uh, but you go to statistics well it did it kept track of what was on there before I uninstalled it it showed that I had 231 ads and trackers that were blocked it has blocked and I did go to try to find some questionable websites so these are not normal websites that had malware on them I searched for places that would detect it and I uh, it detected 34 malware so if this wasn't on there that it protected that malware might have installed or ran in the background of my browser and it could have like had a key logger so that the next time I put my information in my uh, password manager it could send it across the internet making my password manager uh, no longer great or any good so as you can see here it did block so it did keep a record somewhere even though I uninstalled it uh, it kept a record somewhere but what this is it just basically helps keep you safer and faster web browsing uh, from all the trackers and miscellaneous uh, or malicious not miscellaneous websites uh, that filters out ads and unwanted information that will be harmful to you as you're surfing the internet now can I protect you against all malware and, and spyware no but it does give you an extra layer of security now the one below this one this one here there's not a version for the the Mozilla so there's only for Chrome based this one's kind of an either or because it, it blocks malware as well uh, this one here is Guardian or uh, Guardian protection for Chrome it basically removes threats and if you come down here and read it's basically adware and malware that it's kind of protecting you from it was updated to May the 23rd so it is updated quite often so both of these has high ratings so I would say used either or not both since they do very similar now the tracker blocker here this is a different type of track tracker blocker it's not like your U block or your uh, other type of tracker blocker. what this is if you use web-based emails when you open up an email it sends information back that you've opened that email up so if you accidentally open up an a email that was sent out by a computer with mass emails when you open it up it will send information back knowing that you have a legitimate email and they can sell your email so you get more adware so what this does is it blocks open tracking pixels like from Gmail so that if you accidentally do open up something that was kind of questionable it's not going to report back that you've opened it up it will block uh, the sending back of email so this is really for web-based email so if you're using things like a uh, Gmail uh, Outlook or any of the other type web-based emails uh, this will block trackers from knowing the whether or not that you've opened up websites now this is pretty new so there's only a thousand plus users but when I started reading about it I thought this is a great way of uh, stopping trackers because as you can see here of the six people that's reviewed it, it has a five-star review so this is something that's nice to add an extra layer of security as you're surfing the internet and checking your email now I know this is not a very long video and you may have something that you use that helps protect you while you're online so if you do if you found this on YouTube put in the, in the comments so that other users can see what you use and check it out to increase their protection and security as they're surfing online I know this wasn't a video about applications that you're used on Linux or other operating systems but this is does work with the most browsers that you can use on any platform and I've compiled a list of browsers here used for Linux and most of these that I recorded them at different time periods so I recommended different uh, extensions so I thought well since I have com almost completed I may eventually update some of these or add more to them but I do at least have a section here where that they can look at for recommended browser extension for most of the browsers which I have on the list hopefully this video has helped someone and have a great day